Hi, Charles Curley here at the Yale Club. Another one of our dishes that have been in the club for many, many years is our black bean soup recipe. Uh, and actually, one of our chefs, uh, Chef Castillo, has been making this soup for the club for 30 years. Uh, and is still a, a member of our team. And uh, he's, he's kind of worked this out. Obviously, this is a recipe that's scaled down a little bit. Uh, we're making easily 25 to 30 gallons a day of black bean soup for the club. Uh, but this will be a pretty close version of this. Uh, it's very simple to do, uh, and we'll go through some of the steps right now. Uh, we take about eight uh, ounces of black beans and soak them in four cups of water. Uh, there's a lot of debate whether soaking beans or not soaking beans makes any difference, but it does speed up the cooking time. Uh, so, you know, to talk about it, making them less gassy, everybody's digestive system is their own, right? So everyone's impacted a little differently uh, than each other. So um, we've soaked our black beans. What I'm gonna do is gonna put some uh, uh, oil in the pan here. Put some minced garlic, and we'll supply a recipe so you'll have quantity. Uh, some minced garlic in here. About one medium diced onion will go in. A couple of small diced carrots. Some diced celery. And you want to season this before. Uh, before the beans go in, uh, because it'll penetrate the beans and uh, actually all the flavors will cook nicely together. Uh, we'll put some uh, crushed black pepper, uh, ground black pepper, a little bit of cumin, uh, ground cumin will go in, some dried oregano, a little bit of uh, smoked Paprika uh, adds a nice little touch to it. And a little bit of salt we'll put in right now. And we'll let that saute. Until uh, the onions and the celery and the cats get a little translucent, right? You want to kind of sweeten them up a little bit. Uh, so with the black beans, we're going to add them with the liquid that we uh, soaked them in. Uh, it's, uh, you know, some people drain and throw it out, but you know, you have a lot of the, uh, the, the nutritional components and the flavors in. And as you can see, the water, it's the same color as the beans now. So it just kind of keeps it all together in one little nice tight package. So we'll, we'll saute the vegetables. Then we're gonna add so uh, probably about 10 ounces of tomato puree, crushed tomatoes, canned jar sauce, whatever you really have in your house. And then we're going to add our beans that have been soaking in the water. We'll just cover that up and we're going to let that simmer until the beans break down and cook. Uh, at, at the Yale Club we puree it after it's done, but at home if you want to leave it more chunky and robust, you can. Uh, and what we'll do is once this is done cooking, uh, we'll do some nice garnishes for it that you can do to make this a little bit more of like a full meal instead of just like a soup appetizer. So uh, we'll be back in a few and we'll finish up this dish once everything is cooked. So we're back, this took about maybe an hour and a half uh, simmering on the stove. Uh, you wanna stir it constantly so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the stove. Uh, the other thing you could do too is to put the whole thing in a crock pot, put it on four hours and forget about it and uh, you could pretty much come back with the same result. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna take uh, some of this and we're gonna puree some of it. Uh, you don't have to. But I like to uh, mix a little bit of the puree with the soup itself. 
Uh, and you, when you're pureeing uh, hot things in a blender, you have to be very, very careful because you don't want them to, because uh, it pressurizes and it, it kind of explodes out if you put too much in. So we're just gonna do a little bit of it, you know, just to create some texture, some uh, break down some of the beans, kind of speed the process up a little bit. And we're just gonna add that back into the whole pot of soup. And we'll stir that in. And this way you get a combination of uh, the puree and then also you have uh, the beans in there as well. And so we're gonna, we're gonna uh, ladle this soup into our bowl. And then we can garnish this with a whole bunch of different things. And it's kind of hard to see, but maybe at this angle, you'll see a little bit of it. But uh, I'm gonna put some corn relish on here. Uh, so at the club, we just serve sour cream and some uh, red onions and cilantro, but I have a corn relish that I'm, I'm gonna to add to this. Uh, to kind of add a little bit of, uh, and this just has some peppers, cilantro, lime juice, salt and pepper, uh, a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to add some diced tomatoes as well on top. Uh, you have to have avocado, right? And then also I have some uh, uh, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds too if you want to add a little something else to it and then I have some sh uh, grated cheese any, any kind that you like this is just happens to be some cheddar that I had in the house uh, and just kind of spread that around on top serve it with some chips and you've gone from just having a soup to now you have a meal. And uh, earlier today we made some popovers. So these are the two dishes that have been served at the Yale Club for many, many years. And I hope you enjoyed the recipe and uh, enjoyed the soup. Thank you and I uh, hope to see you all back at the club very soon. Take care.